Hi guys! Today's lesson, the dollar up method. I know this is something we've talked about before, and it's something we'll talk about again. It's really important to study and learn the dollar up method. Let's say we're going to the grocery store and we want to buy this bright red juicy apple. We look and the price tag says the apple cost 59 cents. How many whole dollars are there in 59 cents? Remember, anything after the decimal, we cover up. So we have zero as our whole dollar amount. When we look at the number line, zero is here. What is one more than zero? One. I hope you said the answer is one dollar. We need to pay the cashier one dollar. Now we're at the grocery store and we want to buy one gallon of milk. When we look at the price tag, milk costs two dollars and eighty-five cents. How much is a dollar more than two dollars and eighty-five cents? First, let's look at our whole number. We can block anything after the decimal point. Our whole number is two. When we look at the number line and find the number two, what is a dollar more than two? Three dollars. You've got it. So if the milk costs two dollars and eighty five cents, I need to give the cashier three dollars. Very good. I'm at the same grocery store and I see this beautiful pink cake. My sister's birthday is coming up and I'd really like to buy her this cake for her birthday. When I look at the price tag, I see that the cake cost $4.89. How much money? Is this cake going to cost me if I round to the next dollar? We can cover anything after the decimal places. And I see that $4 is my whole number. When I look at the number line, I find the number four. One more than four equals five. I need to give the cashier five dollars. Now let's practice a couple without the number line. Do you think you're ready? So I decided I'm getting the cake for my sister's birthday. But we also have some pie at home and I really, really want some whipped cream. Some Cool Whip. When I look at the label, I see the Cool Whip cost $1.37. How much money do I need to give to the cashier if the Cool Whip cost $1.37? My timeline isn't down here, so now I need to think. I'm going to cover up everything after the decimal, and I need to decide what is one more than one? If I was counting, I would say one. Two. I need to give the cashier two dollars to cover the cost of the Cool Whip. Good job. I'm in the grocery store and I absolutely love 
Minute Maid orange juice. It's my favorite. I grab it and I notice that the price tag says it's $2.89. I'm wondering, how much do I need to give the cashier if the orange juice cost me $2.89? Let's cover everything after the decimal. My whole dollar is two. What is one more than two? One, two, three. In order to buy the orange juice, I need to give the cashier three dollars. Let's do one more together before we do our practice. I remembered that mom told me she was going to make her famous macaroni and cheese for dinner tonight. In order to make the macaroni and cheese, I need to buy her one pound of Swiss cheese. When I look at the Swiss cheese, I see the price tag is $5.65. How much money do I need to have for the cashier if the cheese is $5.65? Let's cover up the decimal, anything after the decimal. My whole number is five. What is one more than five? Five. So four, five, six. Six dollars is one more than five dollars. I need to have six dollars to give the cashier in order to buy my cheese. Great job, everyone, and thank you for studying with us today. I hope you learned a lot with the dollar up method. Now, let's go practice. Think carefully as you look through your assignment. What is one more than the whole dollar? You've got this. I have faith in you.